Right. We're doing the reveal. His name's Jack. This is pretty much the worst feeling ever. This is a movie about my iPhone. This is the iPhone 5S, model number A1533. I've taken it all around the world. The problem is, I keep breaking them. As you can see with this most recent model, I've shattered the screen and I've damaged it so much that it's actually starting to fray on the edges. I've cracked the screen of this phone twice. The first time I dropped it face down at Union Pool in Brooklyn and shattered the screen. I got it fixed a month later in a super sketchy unregistered iPhone repair store for about 50 bucks on Venice Boulevard in the Pico Union area of Los Angeles. It only lasted me about four months before I dropped and cracked it again, getting out of a cab on the West Side Highway in Battery Park the night before Thanksgiving. I use my phone a lot. I take pictures with it for Instagram and sometimes even use it to take video for this channel. Not only is the screen broken and hard to read, but the camera and phone itself are outdated. Bottom line, I need a new phone. While I'm all about the developing nature of technology and the wonderful things that it allows you to do, the idea of obsolescence makes me kind of sad. I consider myself a somewhat nostalgic person, and to simply throw away this phone that has captured so much of my life over the past few years seems kind of wrong. I feel it's important to lay him to rest. I'm going to build an iPhone graveyard, a place to retire my phones when their time has come, but I can still look back at them and remember all the amazing things that they've done. This is my design a central base with individual compartments for each phone to stand up vertically. Here's what we need. Some kind of box or case to house each phone. A stand or base to hold all of the phones. And screws to connect the housings to the base. I bought this pencil case looking thing to act as the base. I just would flip it over and put the housings on top. I ended up getting Gorilla Glue to fasten the housings to the base because the base that I bought was plastic. And if I took screws to plastic, I was worried that it might crack. For the housings for each iPhone, I bought three transparent boxes that came with tops. What's crucial here is that you check that your iPhone fits in these boxes with the top on as the sizes vary. First take the base and check to see if there are any little bumps or engravings on it and maybe take some sandpaper. I took a serrated knife just to even it out and make sure that when you place down the covers of the housing, they're gonna sit level. Gorilla Glue bonds to water, so whatever cover you're using for your housing that you're going to attach to the base, make sure that you wet it a bit before you put the glue on. Apply the Gorilla Glue to the already damp lid of your housing and fix it onto the base. I then took the base with the Gorilla Glue lid on it and put it underneath this chair for 60 minutes. It can be a chair or a paperweight, just something heavy so that it bonds to the base. An hour later, the lid was very securely attached to the base. I took a potato peeler and actually cleaned up the edges just because you can see that some of the glue came out on the sides. I made this label just out of some fluorescent duct tape. I added my iPhone's dates from its purchase date to the day I retired it, just below the first housing. I placed my iPhone on the base and dropped the housing over the top. When my new iPhone bites the dust, it'll join this one in the iPhone graveyard. <laughs>